I had wanted to be published by Nightingale Conant for 10 years. Nightingale Conant was at that time the largest self-help audio publisher in the world. And I wanted to be published by them. And when my book, The Seven Lost Secrets of Success, came out, I thought, oh, this is it. This is the one for them. They're into success. I have a book on success. I sent it to them. I wrote them letters. And they rejected me. And I couldn't believe it. I was devastated. It's like, this is a no-brainer. How could you reject me? They did. And they did repeatedly for years And then something unusual took place. By then, the internet is around. And so somebody started emailing me questions about P.T. Barnum. They had seen my book on Barnum, knew I was fascinated with Barnum, and I answered all the questions about P.T. Barnum. I was just glad to do it. And after a series of emails going back and forth with this mysterious stranger, he finally said, thank you so much. I really appreciate how generous you were with your time and your knowledge. He said, by the way, I'm the vice president of marketing at Nightingale Conant. If you would ever like one of your programs considered for publication by us, just let me know. Well, (laughs) that was a lightning strike in my life. I still remember the moment. And of course, I wrote back to say, I've got several things Nightingale Conant should want. My Barnum book, I had an audio program, I had the seven lost secrets of success, and I FedExed a box to my contact now at Nightingale. And he went to bat for me. He went to bat and he ended up selling and getting me into their studios. And the very first program I did was called The Power of Outrageous Marketing. And that was still coming from my marketing background. Everything I had learned to market my own books, I put in a marketing program and that was my first. I've ended up doing almost a dozen programs and becoming one of the lead authors for Nightingale Conant. But it all began with a series of rejections and a synchronistic moment that redirected my life. This one thing beats talent, it beats luck, it beats connections, it beats resources, it beats virtually anything else you could name. And what's the one thing? Persistence. If you keep writing, If you keep attempting to be published, if you keep moving forward, over time, you will taste success. But you have to persist. I persisted when, my God, they're homeless. Persisted when I was in poverty. Persisted when there was not any evidence around me. Zero. None. That I would ever even be published. Nothing. You have to still keep going. If you really believe in yourself and the possibility of taking that chance that, you know, it could work out, then you have to get up every day and just keep walking forward. That is the big secret.